What would your new Town Hall 12 Village look like if you played non-stop for 90 days? Well, I'm sure if you did it during the Mashup Madness event, it looks great. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and today would be episode five of the Town Hall 12 free-to-play series in 2023, day 90. Now, I'm gonna put this out there because right now we are like 10 days out from the end of the Mashup Madness event, and this is probably one of the best updates that Clash of Clans has ever released least as far back as I can remember because everybody regardless of your town hall level got to participate in this event and got some awesome rewards. Let's not forget that there were also three boosts available in the mashup madness event that we normally don't have as free players and of course I had to take advantage of it. I mean think about it. The upgrades were cheaper, the uh, laboratory upgraded faster and the armies trained way faster than normal. So this is the base 30 days after after the last episode. That will be linked down in the description below because you probably won't believe me and you need to fact check, right? <laughs> so check it out. We got some really good news. Our heroes are maxed at day 90, Town Hall 12. The queen is now level 65. She went up five levels from the last episode. The king is four days out from level 65. That means he jumped up six levels. And the grand warden is now maxed out at level 40, meaning 10 levels gained. 10 levels hear me out all right so this is where people got really frustrated with me the other day on a different video where i opted out on getting the free queen skin and a lot of people out there were not happy about that but i chose to go with the books of heroes which are now sold out which means that i upgraded the grand warden three times using three books of heroes of course i had to grind out the resources and then i finished him out at level 40 using the book from the season past the free one so that that was definitely worth it. You also notice that the research potions are all gone and I'll explain where they went in a moment. Now we did max out our Inferno Towers. We maxed out all four of the Expos. We did a couple of trap upgrades because I was feeling lazy and we started upgrading our Wizard Towers. One of them is complete. We got three down for upgrade and then we'll knock out the other one, go into the air defenses, the hidden Teslas, etc., etc. The same thing we always do. Now, if you're wondering about wall pieces, I upgraded 118 pieces of wall in this time frame, which means that we have 47 left over. Now I'm gonna try to avoid maxing walls because we finished our hero upgrades. Our laboratory is almost done with elixir upgrades or nearly very close to being done. And I need to, a place to dump that elixir. So we're gonna do that on walls. Speaking of the laboratory, we have upgraded our giant, the wall breaker, the P.E.K.K.A. We also upgraded the Yeti to level two. And then when it comes to dark elixir troops, I upgraded the Hog Rider using a book of everything. That was actually a mistake because I clicked the UI, the new UI situation, I messed up. However, remember those potions, those research potions that were in the Mashup Madness rewards? And then also the potions available for purchase with raid medals. I upgraded the Golem to level eight and the Witch to level five. And then I use two hammers of fighting. We upgraded the golem to level nine and the lava hound to level five. And then we started working on upgrading our siege machines. Now, if you were wondering if I use the brand new goblin builder or goblin researcher, this guy right here, the answer would be definitely no. And that's because I have a whopping 52 gems. Now, one of the things about playing free to play is that we want to try to find ways to speed up the progress of of our base because a lot more players out there are more interested in leveling up their bases a little bit more than the attacking and that's not speaking for everybody but there's just a greater percentage of people that love seeing progress on their base so in theory i thought the goblin builder slash goblin researcher was a great idea when i saw it in testing slash before the update drop but when i get into my laboratory and let's say i want to upgrade this bat spell 85 5,000 dark elixir, which is cheaper than normal thanks to that boost, but it costs 215 gems to activate this goblin researcher. Now, let's think about this. For the first time in Clash of Clans history, we have the option to upgrade two things in the laboratory at once. This is something that people from days of old have been asking for 
forever. But I know that not everybody out there wants to spend that many gems to start the second upgrade, and that's the reason why I have not been using it. However, I did have an idea regarding the Goblin Builder, and just hear me out because I was thinking that we got Clan Capital, and when we do Raid Weekend, that produces the Raid Medals. Now, we use the Raid Medals in the Trader Shop, and we got options like resources. Yes, I've been buying resources. <laughs> There's also a lot of potions and some clan capital house stuff. It's just really great resource or currency that we can spend and it encourages us to play clan capital with our clan mates, of course. Then you got the clan war leagues, which produces the league metal. And in the league metal shop, we have great things like potions and hammers and also statues and skins. If you're into that kind of thing, it's just another amazing currency. And it's something that everybody wants to participate in to get those hammers, right? And this all contributes to the progress of our home village. So I was thinking in regard to the Goblin Builder to get rid of the gem option and let's add some form of currency for playing builder base. Just, <laughs> it's just a thought that I had because I, I know there's people that like builder base, but I personally get bored with builder base really, really fast in its old state and its new state. That's just me. I tend to get bored, but if they offered some form of currency, like if I play and do X amount of attacks or whatever and collect metals that I can use with that goblin builder, I would play a lot more Builder Base. What about you? Would you play more Builder Base if you got some type of metals to spend with this to speed up progress on your home villages? That's just where I, my thought process was. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. Just a suggestion for the Clash team and I doubt anything's gonna happen with it. But let's go ahead and jump over to the Clash Ninja website and show you how much progress we need to finish in order to max out, go to Town Hall 13. We got 77% left of structures, 80% on laboratory, 100% on heroes, and 92.1 on the walls. We're really close to being maxed out on three of those items. When we get down into the stats, it's going to take another two months, 26 days for the structures, three months, 15 days for the laboratory to be maxed, and obviously four days left on the heroes because of that king upgrade. 